what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Many Americans were expecting relief from their stimulus check on Wednesday, but some in Augusta, Georgia, who filed their taxes through a business with a history of legal complaints are worried that their stimulus money was being withheld. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office and the IRS arrived at City Tax Financial to investigate, but they found no wrongdoing. And a holdup with the money may be a problem for tax preparers all over the country. Dozens of families were saying that they got a notification that their stimulus check had been deposited. But when they looked at the account the deposit went to, they said it was different from theirs. That's why they showed up in record numbers at city tax to demand their paper. Lieutenants questioned the owner inside the business around 2 p.m. We don't believe this was a scam, a Richmond County deputy said. The owner, Jonathan Michaels, later came out to tell the crowd it was all a misunderstanding and that he was not withholding their money. He says he got a third party company called Tax Advantage to help handle the accounts. He said that company created new account numbers for the stimulus to go to. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office says it all checked out and the family should be receiving their stimulus check within seven days. However, family members say, hey man, we still don't trust them. They're very skeptical because they say the company has a history of bad business practices. Many of them says that they had problems when they first filed. So they're on the edge. I suspect they'll get their money though because if it was any kind of funny business going on, you better believe they are trying to get it right, right away. And they really haven't had time to blow the money. You did like, been less than 48 hours or 36 hours from the time that the popos arrived at their business. So I think they'll get their money, but I can't blame them. This coronavirus got people out here bad, man. I mean, it's, it's bad out here. People can't feed their children, can't pay their rent, can't pay light bills, water bill. You know, some people can't even pay for their phone. You know that's bad because these days the phone is the first thing you pay for. But I remember back in the day, the first thing that a lot of people would make sure that they paid for was their light bill. Because you might be a few days late on the rent, but if you're too late on that light bill, man, they're cutting it off. You dig what I'm saying? So I can uh, I can empathize with those people that that want their money. I feel you, man, because those kids got to eat whether that check come in or not. Even if that stimulus wouldn't have came in, the kids still got to eat. And the parents got to eat too. Not just the kids, everybody got to eat. I can't blame them. I'd want my money. I'm glad that it wasn't a scam, though, especially since the owner is a black guy. You know, Lord knows we don't need any type of publicity of a black company scamming black people because that's all some of these people out here would need, especially these black people that uh, start with C, rhymes with moon, you know. They can't wait to see a black business do bad so they can blast them. See, that's why I don't mess with them. See, that's why I don't. That's why, you know. You know them types I'm talking about. They think they're not a Charles Barkley type, but they really are. Anyway, I hope these people get their money real soon. And for everybody else out there, man, I hope y'all are all right. I know it's a tough time for everybody. Tensions are high. Y'all try to love on each other. Get a little closer to your family. It's tough, but in the famous words of my man from New Jack City, what's his name, G-Money, we all we got. No more talk. What the mate is talking about. Yeah.